Next subtopic is 5.3, which is integral of exponential functions. So uh, we have the first rules over here. Integrate exponent x dx, you will get exponent x plus c. Uh, so you will get back what you have over here. Okay, exponent x, so you also get exponent x. When fx equal to ax plus b only. So what does it mean by this statement? We're going to see the example over here. Integrate 3 exponent x dx. So remember when you have 3, okay, let me uh, take down the pen over here. Okay, so when you have 3 over here, 3 is a constant, so you bring it at the front, put it at the front, so you have 3, so the remaining will be exponent x dx, so you only need to integrate exponent x dx, so remember, we refer back to here, when you integrate exponent x, you will get exponent x plus c, so again, this part, Remember, exponent x dx, you will get exponent x plus c. So don't forget to times 3 times exponent x plus c. Okay, and remember, you don't have to uh, multiply the c with any constant, okay? You don't have to multiply 3 times with C, no need. C is just a C. That's it. Okay, next, uh, we have this rule. Integration of exponent AX plus B DX. So, you will have 1 over A times exponent AX plus B plus C. Uh, how do we get it? How do we get this? It's because you have ax. Ax, remember? So when you have ax, this a will become 1 over. It will become this part. 1 over a. Uh, yang lain, kita tulis balik. Exponent ax plus b. So we get exponent ax plus b plus c. Okay. So, example, integrate exponent 2x dx. Uh, so, we have 2 over here as the constant and a over here is also the constant. Constant. Okay. Constant. Hopefully, you can read it. Constant. A, a very bad handwriting. Hmm. Okay. Uh, integrate exponent 2x dx so you have 2 over here is a constant you don't put directly 2 at the front no since it is power exponent exponent of 2 so it will become 1 over 2 uh, 1 over 2 instead of just 2 1 over 2 and the remaining exponent 2x just write it back exponent 2x plus c. Okay, b, integrate exponent 3x minus 2 dx. Uh, again, we have the constant 3 over here at the front of x, so we will become 1 over 3. Uh, and the rest, you just write it back, exponent 3x minus 2 plus c. Easy, right? And then C, integration of exponent 1 minus 5x dx. So, where is our constant of x? Here, here is the constant of x. Remember, you just need to find the constant of x. Uh, constant of x. A is a constant of x. Uh, pekali untuk x itu. So, sama juga macam yang ni. Pekali untuk X itu adalah negatif 5. So, it will become 1 over negative 5. Exponent 1 over 5X. This is just the same. Ini cuma benda yang sama dengan yang di sini. Uh, 
Ha, sama juga yang ini pun benda yang sama dengan yang di sini. Then you plus C. Okay. So it's quite easy for exponent as long as you remember the rules over here. Uh, so for exponential function, uh, exponential functions, you have two rules. This one when you have constant and the previous one when you don't have any constant. Okay, you don't have any constant. Integrate exponent x, you get back what you have exponent x. Uh, sama je. That is number one. This is number two. And this is number 3. Uh, integrate a to the power of x dx. Now, uh, uh, a is your constant. Uh, we no longer use exponent. Previously, is exponent. This is constant. Uh, a adalah constant to the power of x dx. So, what happened when you integrate this? You will have a x, a to the power of x, divide by ln a. Ha, dekat sini, there's a new thing. You will divide it with ln a. Because uh, this number 3 rules uh, is quite different from the previous 2. Because uh, this is uh, you're not using exponent x. You are using a x. As a is a constant. That's why you will have ln a over here. Hmm. Plus c. A x tu, kita tulis semula. Divide by ln a. Kenapa ln a? Dia follow yang constant itu. So, let's see example. Integrate 3 to the power of x dx. Ha, mana dia punya constant? Uh, this 3 kan? 3 is the constant. So, you will have to write back 3x. Tulis balik 3x. Divide by ln 3. Kenapa ln 3? Sebab ini adalah perkali dia. Uh, dia punya constant uh, ln 3 plus c. Okay, done. Then, this next one, integration of 2 to the power of 3x dx equal to, again, you just write it back, 2 to the power of 3x, tulis semula, divide by ln 2. Sepatutnya dia ln 2 sebab ada 2 dekat sini. Sorry, sorry, what happened? Okay. Sepatutnya dia ln 2 kan? Uh. Okay, ln 2. You get ln 2. Uh, macam mana datangnya 3 ni? 3 ni because we have 3x over here. So, adalah 3 dekat depan. Beza pula dengan yang atas ni. You can see the different. Uh, here, we only have 1x. 1x over here. One, only 1x. So, di sini cuma... Satu lah. Ha, so, you, you don't have to tulis pun tak apa. Hmm. 1 ln 3. Tapi tulis. Just like, just write it down as ln 3. But this one, we have 3x. So, 3 tu dekat depan. Ln 2 ni dia follow yang ini. Ha. Okay. As long as you can uh, understand the concept, I'm sure you can do uh, the rest lah. Uh, N plus C. Okay. So, we have learned three rules for exponential function. This is number three. The first one is this one, exponent x. The second one is when you have a function over here, ax plus exponent of ax plus b, where x a is a constant. Then, the third one is this one, uh, when you are no longer using exponent, but you are using a to the power of x. Uh, so, you have new term, which is ln. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can try this on your own exercises, and you can check the uh, the answers over here. Okay. And uh, okay, just a reminder uh, for question number two, you can split it. Boleh pecahkan deh. This one become number one. This one become number two. This part and this part. So you will have integration, integration of number one plus integration of number 2. Macam tu lah, lebih kurang. So, make sure you try, okay? Um, now, we move on to the last subtopic, which is the integration of 1 over x, which is integration of a fraction, pecahan, and integration of 1 over ax plus b. So, ax plus b over here is uh, more likely a function. So, let's say 
the first rule integrate 1 over x dx so when you have 1 over 1 per bila you integrate 1 over ataupun 1 per you will have ln uh, so jangan terkejut pula kenapa dapat ln because you integrate 1 over x dx so you will get ln x plus c usually we write down the modulus form because ln uh, we always have a positive answer that's why we write down the modulus modulus okay ln x plus c this is the first rule okay let's see about this uh, integration of 2 over x dx so 2 is a constant remember when you have constant cepat-cepat put it at the front uh, letakkan dekat depan so 2 integrate 1 over x uh, bagi dia tinggal 1 over x dx so this is actually sama kan macam yang dekat atas ni uh, so you will have like oh what happened dia suka drag macam tu lah so uh, 2 uh, letak 2 when you integrate, integrate 1 over x dx you will get ln x plus c uh, macam tu lah yang 2 ni you only multiply with the first term no need to multiply 2 with c eh? you don't have to multiply like 2c no this is wrong just write it down as a single c okay then B, integrate 1 over 3x dx. Okay, so what is your constant over here? Your constant will be 1 over 3. Ah, time ni pula lah ada orang jual uh, apa ni kan, tonggas. Okay, so 1 over 3. So uh, 1 over 3 ni, you put it at the front. So you get 1 over 3, integrate of 1 over x dx. Uh, so, ya ni sama jugalah integration of 1 over x dx ni kan sama macam yang dekat atas ni uh, so yang senangnya sebab kita dah keluarkan siap-siap dia punya constant tu uh, so constant dia 1 over 3 uh, yang integration of 1 over x ni adalah ln x plus c uh, itu sahaja ok so make sure you betul-betul uh, understand the rules of uh, ni lah fraction Next, uh, we're going to see the integration of 1 over 1 over ax plus b. Uh, tadi macam 1 over x sahaja. Now you have ax plus b. So what happened? When you have integrate uh, integration of 1 over ax plus b dx, so the answer will be 1 over a. Why 1 over a? Sebabnya, Kita ada perkali untuk X itu. Uh, that's why we have 1 over A ln AX plus B plus C. Uh, dia tulis balik yang yang dekat bawah ni. Yang dia punya perkal apa? Denominator. Uh, denominator. This is the denominator. So 1 over ln of the whole thing. Uh, ln the whole thing over here. Uh, okay plus C. Yang dia dapat 1 over ni, dia actually dia dapat dari sini. As ambil perkali yang untuk X tu. Okay, now we see this one. Integrate uh, integration of 5 over 2X plus 3 DX. Okay, let's do it together. So, apa dia punya constant dekat sini? 5 kan? 5 tu we can take it outside. 5 so the remaining, I'm sorry with the noise outside. Uh, 5, so you will get 1 over 2x plus 3 uh, dx. So kita dah keluarkan siap-siap. How much I wish I have a whiteboard over here. So I don't have to use the mouse, can? So you have 5 integration of 1 over 2x plus 3 dx. Okay, bila kita tengok balik, when we refer back to these uh, rules, uh, you will get like 5, you integrate, oops, sorry. Sorry. Let's erase it back. 
Can I erase? Yes. Okay. So you have five. Integrate one over two x. Uh, remember, you have two x over here as a constant. So you will have. Uh, you will have one over two again. Uh, Lon the whole thing over here. Uh, Lon kan dengan semua yang dekat sini. Uh, Lon letak modular side two x plus three uh, plus c. Begitulah. Okay. Okay. So this is the answer lah. Uh, tapi nanti mungkin you boleh expand it. Uh, so you have two times uh, back the the whole thing over here. Five you times with one over two. Uh, macam tu lah. Hmm. So you will get five over two ln two x plus three. Plus C. Okay. So, this is basically how the answer. Uh, hopefully, uh, you can still understand. You can still read my handwriting. Okay, let's see uh, how to solve the second one. Okay. Uh, actually, ada pun yang sini kan? Yang cantik sikit. Nah. So, if you can't understand my, my scribble, you can refer this one. <laughs> It's actually the same. Mm, so you get this part. Then the second one. Integrate 3 over 3x minus 1 dx. So you have 3 is your constant. Uh, you letak dekat luar siap-siap. Integrate 1 over 3x minus 1. Uh, so remember we have 3 over here. So it become 1 over 3. Lon. Lon kan semula dengan the whole thing over here. Uh, Lon kan semula dengan yang ini. So you get this one, 3x minus 1 plus c. So now, you will expand 3 times 3. This one will cancel out. So you only have ln 3x minus 1 plus c. Okay, done. Okay, I think that's all of, uh, the example for the integration of fraction 1 over a or 1 over a x plus b so uh, this is some of the exercises uh, you should try it on your own and this is the summary for the uh, whole chapters uh, we have learned today the integration uh, oh only this is only for the exponential part and the ln part okay let's see the first one the first summary, integrate when you have to integrate exponent x dx, you will get back exponent x. I think this is the easiest to uh, memorize and to understand. Integrate exponent x, dapat exponent x juga. And don't forget to plus c, okay? And then when you have, this is number 1, this is number 2. When you have to integrate exponent ax plus b dx, so remember you have a constant over here. This constant will become 1 over a. Exponent, we just write back the whole thing over here. Uh, concept dia, bila kamu ada exponent ni, kamu akan tulis balik jawapan tu, uh, yang exponent tu balik. Uh, so macam dekat sini, exponent ax, exponent x so the answer also you have exponent x when uh, for this uh, x number two you have exponent ax plus b when you integrate you will also have this part as your answer uh, you, you will have exponent ax plus b it's just that you have to plus with uh, additional this lah 1 over a the constant kan? Uh, plus c and then rules number three we have learned just now is integration of ax to the power of dx. Uh, so you will get ax divided by ln a. Why do you get ln a? Dari mana dapat a ni? Sebab dekat sini. Dia adalah pekali untuk ataupun pekali. Bukan pekali. Dia constant untuk x tu. Uh, so a lah. 
Kalau dekat sini 2, dekat sini 2. Kalau dekat sini 10, then you get sini ln 10 juga. Okay, then number 4, you will have... Uh, when you have to integrate ln ax dx. Uh, bila ni melibatkan ln. So, you will have like x... Oh, this is... The, sorry. This is the last one, I think. Not the... Okay, let's see. Let's... Okay. This is number 4. This is number 4. Integration of 1 over x dx. So, when you have 1 over x, uh, it will become ln x plus c. Uh, ini pun agak senang. 1 over x, integrate 1 over, you will get ln of those things. Uh, then, number 5, uh, integration of 1 over ax plus b dx. And again, this is integration of 1 over. So, bila ada 1 over, uh, muncullah perkataan ln itu ln ax plus b uh, and remember you have a constant a perkali untuk x di situ that's why you get 1 over a plus c and the last one is this um, I think uh, I haven't explained this one uh, in our example just now it's just an additional extra for you when you have ln ax dx, integration of ln ax dx, you will get x ln ax minus x plus c. Ah, actually, dia macam uh, berulang sikit lah. You have ln ax kan? So, you write down back ln ax. At the front, you will have x extra. Ah, okay? Minus x plus c. Okay. That's it for chapter 5. Uh, 